if you're asked to factorise an expression, you need to put the expression into a bracket. To do this, look at the terms you have and find the highest common factor of the numbers in both terms. In this case, the highest common factor is 2 because it's the biggest number that goes into 8 and the biggest number which goes into 2. So put this at the start of your expression. So next thing is to look for letters which we have in both terms which are the same. We haven't got any letters which are the same so we can just go straight to our bracket this time. So next let's just figure out what goes inside the bracket. So 2 multiplied by something is 8x. Well this will be 4x because 2 times 4x is 8x. Also 2 multiplied by something which give, must give 10. This will be 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. Let's do a different one. So example 2. So let's factorise 12xy plus 9y. So again, first of all look for the highest common factor of the numbers in both terms. So the highest common factor this time is 3 because 3 is the biggest number which divides into 12 and 9. So this can go at the start of the bracket. Next, look for letters which have the same in both terms. Well, we have a Y here and a Y here. So that can go next to the 3. Right, there's no more letters the same in both terms, so we just need to figure out what goes inside the bracket. 3y multiplied by something must give 12xy. This will be 4x, because 3x times 3y times 4x is 12xy. And 3y times something must give us 9y. Well, that'll be 3, because 3y times 3 is 9y. So there's our factorised expression. Example 3. So this time let's factorise 12x squared plus 16x. So again look at both terms. Take out the highest common factor. The highest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. So this can go at the start of the bracket. Also in both terms we have an x nothing else to take out now so let's figure out what goes on the inside of the bracket so 4x times something is 12x squared well this will be 3x just remember x times x is x squared and 4x times something will give us 16x so that will be 4 let's do one last example so example 4 so let's go with factorising x squared plus 6x. So this time our highest common factor will be 1 because we have 1x squared here. So 1 is the biggest number that goes into 1 and 6. Let's put that at the start of the bracket. What else have we got in both terms? Well we've got an x here and an x here. Nothing else to take out, so let's figure out what goes inside the bracket. So 1x multiplied by something will give me x squared. Well, that'll have to be x, because x times x is x squared. And 1x times something is 6x. Again, that will be 6, because 1x times 6 is 6x. Just need to simplify this bit here now. 1x is basically the same as x. So our final answer will be x bracket x plus 6. For each example you can always check that the correct by expanding the brackets once you've finished because expanding is the opposite to factorising. So on the last example let's just check it. x times x is x squared, x times 6 is 6x.